Thank you. <clears throat> First of all, I would like to thank you for coming to this presentation. And due to we don't have um, ability to do some delayed reconstruction or deflaps, so we have a time to do some retrospective evaluation or statistic things. So I want to show you the Tyler Bra uh, our respect retrospective evaluation of complication rates and the implant loss rate. So uh, why we speak about the tie loop? So this is the only one available nowadays mesh in the uh, Russian Federation. And comparing to the similar poly polypropylene mesh, we have Tylobrab have the better cell growth, lower risk of inflammation, less scarring and less shrinkage of the mesh due to this hydrophilic surface. Uh, so if we're speaking about the recommendation nowadays, so only one ego guidelines by the German expert group of breast cancer and breast reconstruction that is saying us that the um, index uh, is to be with the synthetic mesh in the for immediate reconstruction after mastectomy. And if you're speaking about the surface of this mesh, we all know this some think that is uh, have the titan. So, but the I was, the recent studies show us that no conjugation for research and the Tylobra reconstruction. So why are we using the Tylobra? The Tylobra is intended for extension of the pectoral major, major muscle in case of subpectoral and implant based reconstruction. And this is, is protecting uh, the pectoral major from the cranial movement and from the malposition or even the migration of the implant due to pectoralis major movement. Uh, we found that and it is, um, we can find it on the Tylo bra uh, uh, instructions. So we need to fixate to reach the hammock effect in the caudal and sternal edges by the surgical knot to do the uh, really nice and intense in the lower pole of the reconstruction. So this is the indication that we found when we're using the Tylobra. Nowadays we are using Tylobra 16 more often and we find it uh, really good. Uh, so the indications is now for us that the patients with a normal BMI, the good condition of the local tissues, I mean the good uh, quality of tissues, the skin and the fat and the balance between the volume of the breast implants that we choose and the patient's BMI. So let's talk about tips and tricks. You shared us with your tricks, so we need to give it back. So the first trick that we found, the when you do the mastectomy, uh, it is more likely to do this with a big plasma blade or it's analog of the Johnson & Johnson. The, it's called the Aticon ice blade. So the temperature is not so high, so we're not using we're not doing some mistakes if you're using the electric um, analog of the plasma blade. So the plasma, pl plasma blade can really forgive you in some kind of moments. So the second trick, not to use the surgical knots when suturing the mesh to the pectoralis major muscle, because when you do that, the patient will feel the, these knots after you've done your reconstruction and it will decrease the final aesthetic results because the patient can feel it. And if you're speaking about the suturing the mesh to pectoral's major muscle, so we found that the vicryl is more likely to use the continuous suture because we have, if you're using the monocryl, so the patients can feel it due to its durability. So, and after the operation, we kindly asking uh, you and all the watching who is watching us uh, it's imperative to use um, a special bra after the you done your reconstruction because when the patient is waking up she will shake your shake your hands and she can um, do something with your reconstruction and to, to decrease the quality of your walk so this is the our experience the total number of the Tylo bra mesh we used is 103. You can see the BMI uh, and uh, you can see the um, 
I mean, you, you can see the parameters. I mean, the near adjuvants, adjuvants, and adjuvants radiotherapy statistics. We all know that radiotherapy is uh, affecting the final static results. And maybe if we're speaking about what kind of um, radiation and dose distribution that we're using to our patients with the Taylor Bra reconstruction, so I'm asking you that the Taylor Bra didn't affect the dose calculation for radiotherapy. That comes from the study of our Turkish uh, guys. So this is our complication rates after the adjuvant radiotherapy. The complete loss of the breast implants and mesh were only one one patient. The capsule contracture uh, was in 17.65%. And you can see the surgery to remove only the mesh due to pain. That was after the radiation therapy is only one patient. So uh, that was the, uh, we did that because the patients can feel the mesh and it was really painful for this patient. So we do the research reoperation and removing only the mesh and recover the implants by the pectoralis major muscle. And we found the red breast syndrome after reconstruction by an LG with the ADM in one case. So this is really interesting. And we also ask our patients about how would you rate your pain? So you know all know the Baymax. Uh, so this is the result. Our patient is not feeling any pain. And we, we asked a direct question. Are you satisfied with the final results after the reconstruction and radiotherapy and all the settings? So our patient is really happy. Um, not even in bilateral cases, even in the unilateral cases too. So this is the result of Taylor Brow reconstruction. The photos are provided by Dr. Alexander Besonov. So this is as you can see, and maybe uh, he will talk more about his cases, but this is really nice results. You can see the really nice lower pole projection due to hydrophilic surface of Telebra and the perfect uh, implants that Dr. Alexander chose for his patients. So as you can see, anything is quite good. We can see, we can show you the faces of his patients, but uh, I'm sure uh, they're really happy to take some photos. Oh. Okay, thank you for your attention and uh, I'm uh, waiting for your question if you have them.